Hello my people, welcome back to J6 Flips. We're going in circles again. We already just recently got a bunch of inventory. We took photos of it, listed it, and uh, put it away in inventory in the J6 Flips mothership. And we're back in sourcing mode. So we're going to Salvation Army now to hit up opening hours to uh, see if we can find some stuff to flip online for a profit. And then we'll hit a couple more stores. So let's go. Doesn't seem like anyone's hit the electronics yet. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of new stuff over there. Swing by here, kind of get a quick look. We usually like picking up filters like this. LG is a good brand, and at four bucks, more than likely it's worth more than that. So probably grabbing this. All right, so it's surprisingly slow in here. I don't see a lot of the usual faces here for opening hour, but there also was a big sale over the weekend, so that could mean that they already came and looked and got all the good stuff, or um, they're just not here. So either way, we're still looking. This is obviously not the season for this kind of stuff, but Volcom is usually a pretty good brand. It's cool colors. I might have to just hold on to this for the winter time, but I'm willing to grab it now. Ruka. This might be women's. It's a little short for uh, men's small, unless it's shrink, but probably gonna get that. Lakers Adidas shorts. This is actually pretty good. Size large. I think I can take these. Shorts are four bucks here. These are at least 25, maybe 30. But I'd honestly just take 20 and just keep it moving. Don't tell anyone. All right, so we didn't get too much. Got the filter and a couple of clothing items, including the jacket, the jersey, and uh, the Ruka sweater. So I ended up leaving those Laker shorts. They have a dead waistband, so the elasticity was all gone. They had the drawstring, but in my effort of trying to not pick up everything and just uh, focusing on getting the better flips and for sure flips, I left them behind. Right now we're gonna hit the storage unit to ship out a couple sold items so you can see a couple things I usually sell if you haven't been watching this channel. And um, yeah, then we'll get back to sourcing. All right, folks, we're at the J6 Flips Mothership now. We gotta drop these things off that I just listed and photographed and all that good stuff. Um, and I already picked out the stuff that's sold. So first thing that sold is this Johnny O Polo. Pretty simple, very, pretty. it's the stretchy kind, not the cotton kind. Uh, this one tends to sell a little bit better. Even though it's a size small, still sold. I think I paid uh, five bucks for it, and it just sold twenty two twenty five. dollars uh, That's including the shipping, so a couple bucks there. This is a Dakine uh, tank top, D-A-K-I-N-E. It's a Hawaiian brand. Um, the brand wasn't as popular as I thought it was, or as expensive as I thought it could go, but uh, I priced it low and was able to sell it. So I think I paid two twenty five dollars for it, and it sold for eighteen twenty four. That includes the shipping, so you can do the math on that one. This is a Atletico Madrid uh, jersey that I picked up, Nike. I paid, I believe, two fifty dollars for it and ended up selling for forty twenty five. dollars That's including shipping in there. So nice little flip on that one. I uh, love selling jerseys and Nike stuff like that. Ships so easy and people love it. So this is a Columbia fleece. Not all of this is valuable. Um, it's very saturated with Columbia gear and all that stuff, but usually if you can find something that stands out, it will sell. This one happens to be a Harvard with a little emblem embroidered in there. So that one, of course, was going to be a little bit special compared to the other ones that are on eBay. Uh, I think I paid $3.50 for it, sold for $43.99. And it'll be maybe five something uh, to ship that. So another easy flip there. And this is my best flip of the day. It is an innovative technology, like Bluetooth um, speaker center, brain hub, or whatever. Paid $12 for it at the Salvation Army and it sold for $88.54. That again includes the shipping, so it's not too heavy um, and I can just wrap it up nice and snug and send it out. But um, nice little profits on there and uh, nice profits overall for a couple days sales. All right, folks, now we're headed to the Council Thrift Shop. Uh, it's on Sherman Way here in the San Fernando Valley. Uh, I usually find a couple good things. I just wanted to mention I had gone there recently and found a very cool Grateful Dead tin. It was like a little drum set or drum snare kind of looking thing. Um, and the comps were wild, so I went, ended up picking that up. Um, and I didn't, of course, have my camera, so just wanted to mention it that it is something you could keep an eye out for if you definitely see something similar. A lot of the solds weren't there, but a lot of them are selling, or at least asking for a high price. So of course I grabbed it, because once the holidays comes around, 
I believe it'll turn into a nice little item that will flip. So uh, grab that thing. I think it was only like four bucks when I bought it. And I also went to, I believe it was at the Goodwill down the street from it, uh, from the council thrift shop. But I ended up finding a bear from the Phantom of the Opera. I mean, I, I check the plush every now and then. I don't really look too hard into it, but this one just kind of stood out. It had the mask. Um, the tag was covered by the price, so I didn't even know what date was on there. But when I looked it up, I was surprised to see the comps on it. It ended up already selling. Of course, again, I didn't have my camera that day, but I just wanted to mention it here so you could see it because it was an epic flip for a couple of bucks to get all I did for it. Uh, pretty amazing. The way I played it was uh, a lot of them were selling for 100 bucks, but there was one auction going on at the moment when I was about to list it that was climbing. It went from 140 to 160. I think it ended up selling 180. So I went based off that. Every time it jumped up, I kept bumping it up another 20 bucks and I ended up settling at 160. Nice little flip there. I shipped it out before the weekend and uh, now we're gonna go back to see if we can hit a couple more scores at both these stores. All right, so we're back at the council. We just opened up. Their uh, green tickets are half off today. So here are a couple things that are just unfortunately out of my price range. 20 bucks for that, not gonna work. 20 bucks for that, not gonna work. They sell for about 30, I think one sold for 40. That included shipping though, so it doesn't leave a lot of room for uh, profits there. This thing looks cool though. Some of these latch and hook things, these old projects, um, sell for good, so. And this one's not one of those though. Four bucks and a 20. Let's see if any of them sold. Obviously shows five selling, none sold. That one's probably the same. So I'd recently seen these uh, Psycho Bunny polos here. There was a purple one before, but it looks like it's gone now. Uh, but they have these weird blemishes, or not, it's not a stain, but I can't tell what's going on. So I ended up leaving it for that reason, but a good brand to look out for and an easy logo to remember. I mean, it's kind of hard to forget that, that bunny with the um, skull and crossbones, but I'm gonna have to leave that one because I don't know what's going on here on the collar, and I don't think anyone wants that on their collar when they're walking around. Here's some Peter Moir, too. They've been up in the price on these usually, but looks like they missed this because it isn't one of those stretch fit ones. It's still a good brand to grab, so I'm gonna get this one, especially at 2x. This is cool. is awesome it's good that it's u.s colors but i don't think there's yeah there's no numbers um but the fact that it's big and nike i think it's worth it i'm not sure what size i'm gonna write it down as but it's worth the pickup i believe i had recently found a bunch of cycling jerseys here from this same company primal cycling um but this one wasn't as cool, so I left this one behind. It's still here, obviously. Uh, but the ones I picked up were Grateful Dead. One's, one's like a cycling dude, and then the other one is um, their logo, just like red and yellow. So I've listed both of those and hoping to sell them, but I think this one's gonna be here until they have to get rid of it, because I don't think anyone's gonna buy that one. Here's an example, and not all jerseys are made the same. It's got that Nike logo on there, but you can tell it's kind of printed on there. This tag says it all, and the stitching really does give it away. And the material just feels kind of cheap. The coolest thing on here is the patch. It actually is stitched on there and feels nice, but um, this thing has no real stretch. It's one of those cheaper jerseys. I actually just picked up that El Salvador jersey, but this is way worse looking than the one I grabbed. I'm um, hoping mine, just out of rarity, can sell, but this one, uh, Club America is pretty big in this area at least, so I'm pretty sure there's enough for sale, or at least enough real ones for sale that no one wants that one. This one's even better than that jersey we just saw. This is the Bundesliga number six. That's cool. Lila or Lila? Not sure what that is, but the fact that it has tags makes it nice, but I don't know about that $15 price tag. For a jersey I'm not really sure about, to be in 15 bucks on it, maybe I'll wait to see if it hangs around. Not likely anyone picks this up, but we'll see if it sticks around. Man, I think I'm gonna end up taking this. Even 15 bucks, I'm pretty sure I can go for 40, so just gonna grab it, especially new with tags. I think a used one would go for 40, but I might even be able to pull off 50 bucks for this thing. We'll see though, still can't figure out who this is, but if a fan wants it, they'll rock it. All right, so we end up spending 31 and some change. I think the Peter Millar shirt 
could uh, sell just the loan for that. So the rest of these would be profit. Again, the jersey could be lucrative, could not be. Might be sitting on it for a while, but we took a chance. My favorite part about these uh, thrift stores over here is that they're so close to each other. So I could technically walk, but I'm not gonna have to walk all the way back. Just barely walking in, but I see this. It looks like a hockey jersey, NC State Coliseum. And it is stained, but it's cool looking. Let's see the price, 13 bucks. Look at that embroidery though. I've sold hockey jerseys before and they usually go for a pretty good chunk of change. So when I saw the patches over here and the extra long sleeves, which is a dead giveaway, it's definitely a hockey sweater. The NC State jerseys that have sold are brand new uh, for 60 bucks. Obviously had the string up here and wasn't stained. And the one for sale uh, is brand new as well, but 55 bucks. If this was cheaper, I'd definitely no brain grab it, but uh, I'm gonna just kind of carry it around and see how I feel about it in a little bit. This is something I was gonna grab probably, Nike Dry Fit Goalie Soccer Jersey. They're always kind of vibrant colors to stand out from the rest of the players on the field. They got the official logo on this thing, and they got all the tags that show it is authentic. This is a little one most people wanna know about, and C. And there's no, obviously no number on it, but at 10 bucks, it is a little more than I want to pay, but again, I'm kind of in a sourcing mode, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. Gosh, this all looks intriguing, but I don't know anything about cameras or anything like that. Canon's one that might be worth a look up, but it also depends on what they're asking. It's got the little stabilizer, which is cool. 50 bucks. Most likely not going to be worth that. We got a Minolta. We got a new inbox Vivitar. Kodak. Olympus. Zenith. Canon body. Okay, so this is hilarious. They got the $50 price tag on there, which, I don't know, it seems a little high already. Then you look online and there's literally the same one selling for 15 plus shipping, so they could be 30 bucks all in. On eBay, delivered to the door, they can take a risk on this $50 one here at Goodwill. Sometimes you do wish they would check at least eBay to see if they're uh, ridiculously overpricing or at least matching it. I don't mind if they match it, that's, that's their own prerogative, but don't overprice it that much. So this one is more intriguing. They actually have a lot more sales for this one, but it's about even with the eBay prices. So they got it right with this one. So this is where we had found that uh, bear for the Phantom of the Opera. It was up here next to this guy, actually, I believe. Um, was able to sell that and pretty stoked. So of course I can look to see if there's anything else that stands out. Nothing really. This thing's fun. Like I would get this from a son, but he's kind of outgrown this stuff. He does like playing with these at Target, but not worth it here. Looks like someone got rid of their Lakers shirts collection. There's a bunch of giveaway shirts. This one's a cool one though. I don't know if this is a giveaway or what, but love Red Hot Chili Peppers. They're known to be huge Laker fans, especially Flea over here. Um, definitely gonna have to pick this up. There you go. There's a giveaway XL. How cool is that? Um, most of them sell for 20 bucks. This one's got a weird stain there, but Red Hot Chili Pepper fans are gonna want this. It isn't in Maine. This is a brand I ran into at the uh, Nordstrom Rack for the first time. Actually sold new with tags, but they sell the used too, so I'm not sure what makes them so special. This one looks like it's been tailored though. I'm gonna have to leave that. It's been altered, but still a good brand to look out for. It isn't in Maine. All right, so I spent another 29 bucks. Again, these are items I usually wouldn't pay up for, but just, in, uh, just to get a couple things to show you guys what kind of things I picked up. All right, folks, so we've already pretty much filled up one of these savers totes that we like to use that we uh, pick up when we go shopping there. Usually that thing would probably cost like around 40 to 50 bucks to fill up at a Goodwill bins with just items that are available there, obviously by the pound. Um, but we spent well over 70 bucks already for this, uh, just for that bag. So we do need to get back to the bins again. Um, I do notice the difference and it is a little disheartening when I'm spending let's say nine bucks for something or even 12, which I already did today. Um, but out of convenience, we're here today. In the future, we're gonna have to get back to the bins though to get that, those nice prices we really enjoy. All right, so last stop is our most local Goodwill. Uh, haven't found a lot here the last couple times, but hoping we come across a few this time. All right, so I just grabbed this Sony boombox looking thing. It works because I plugged it in. I'm sure it just charged maybe a little bit, um, but it was off before. There it goes, the battery's out there. Um, but it does open up. We we'll grab a CD and pop it in there to see if it works. Most of these sell more like 60 to 80 bucks. 
so we'll see if it's gonna be worth it or not. All right, I haven't been as fond of grabbing shoes recently, but you gotta pick these up when you see them. Nike Trail shoes. Let's see what the price is though. 30 bucks, they can keep these. Oh my God, what happened to this thing? It's a nice jersey overall, but this main logo is missing. Got the Brazilian on the back too. Surprisingly, this is still intact. This logo's gone though. All right, so struck out there. They had a lot of things that would flip, it's just the prices again, so. Sometimes I luck out and find a couple things where they're slipping on it, but this wasn't one of those days. That's okay, we always check just to make sure we're on top of it. Uh, might be last spot for the day, but we'll definitely get back to it tomorrow.